Today I'm going to show you an advanced black market script created by Hyperscripts. With it, players can purchase illegal items which can all be set up to your liking. With the item purchase system, players are given a location to collect the items with the option to have security pets. I'll also mention it supports multiple frameworks, phones, inventories, and target systems. I'll leave a link to the resource and creator's preview in the description where you can check out all the features. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're there, find the advanced black market, and once you click, you'll see a description, a link to documentation, features, and so on. If and once you purchase, go to your key master and granted assets, then find HS Black Market and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. Next, there is an item and image to add, so go back to your resources and find the black market. Then go into the installation folder and open the items MD. Then choose the section that fits your server. I'm using QB with QB inventory, so I'll be copying the item here. Then going back to the resources and into the QB folder. Going into QB core, shared, and then into the items.lua. Then I'll scroll down and add it all the way at the bottom. And save it. Then go back to the black market folder again, into the installation folder, into images, and copy the image. Then you need to add it to your inventory following the correct path. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. Into HTML and images and then pasting what was copied. The next thing to look at is the config, so go back to the resource folder once more and open the config. The first thing in here is the framework. The commented out text tells you which options you can choose from, so I'll change this to QB Core. Then there's an option to enable or disable the black market, followed by the target and inventory system. Again, the commented out text tells you the available options, so set it up for your server. Next is the money type. You can have players pay with cash, black money, and even an item. Then there's an option for the phone you use and notifications. So I'll change this to QB phone. And the notifications are for the collection location if you choose to use it. Right below is where you can enable or disable the feature and change the prop that's collected. Next is a webhook for Discord logging, which I'll show how to do later. I will mention the logs capture successful and failed purchases. The next options deal with the cooldown. You can make it global or for all players or make it item based. You can enable or disable the cooldown and of course change the cooldown time. The next options deal with the delivery. First you have the time it takes to give players the location, how long until the item expires if it isn't picked up, and an option to disable the item expiring if it isn't picked up. Next are the delivery and black market locations. You can add more or remove some, just be sure to follow the format. Then you have an option to disable the security pets, which attack players when they go to collect the items, and below that are the settings for the guards. You have the amount, ped model, and weapon. Then there's an open and close time for the black market, and an option to disable the open and close feature. Below that is the ped model and heading for the black market ped, and an option to disable it. Next is an option to have an access item, meaning if players don't have it, they won't be able to access the black market. And of course, there's an option to disable that, so if anyone finds it, they can just use it. Then there's an image path and the items that can be purchased in the black market. You can add or remove items depending on what you want for your server. I'm going to add Oxy as an example, so I'll copy the last one and paste it below it, then start renaming the information. Name is the item name, which would just be Oxy in this example. The label is what you want it to say. Set the price to whatever you want. And then you have the image. So I'll change the image to match the item. And the image needs to be added to the images folder in the script. So I'll copy it from the inventory and then paste it in the resource folder. So go back to the resources and into the QB folder since I'm using QB inventory. Go into HTML and images. And then I'll search for the image and copy it. Then go back to the black market resource, into NUI, into the images folder and paste what was copied. 
The last thing in here are the notification and messages, so you can go through and change if you wish. The last thing I've shown here is the webhook for Discord. For the webhook, go to Discord and create a channel. Once it's created, go to Edit Channel, then to Integrations, and click Create Webhook. Once it's created, copy the webhook URL, go back to the config, and paste it there. That's all the steps. You can start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one servers is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. So I have the access item enabled and it's the black market access card so i'll go ahead and open the shop and in there you have the name the price and a picture to the right so i'll go ahead and order the oxy i added and I'll let you know the purchase was successful after a short period of time it lets you know the package is ready for pickup if you go to the map you can find the pickup location which is here once you get close the guards will start to shoot you have them enabled. All right, and there's the package. So I'll go ahead and collect it. It let you know you got the package and the oxys in my inventory. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.